Haney and Jorge Linares, they were going back and forth on Twitter. And Linares claimed out of nowhere he never received a contract after it been confirmed that he did receive the contract by Golden Boy Gomez. But he confirmed that they did. So what's your take on Linares now claiming that he haven't received the contract? Devin Haney is capping. Uh, send me a picture. What's your take on that whole development? Well, I heard it from another promoter in, in the sense of I heard it from Samson that Samson had said that he spoke to Eric Gomez with uh, Golden Boy Promotions and he was aware that the contract was on the table. I also spoke to uh, Eddie Hearn, who said that uh, an offer was sent over as well. So um, that's about as all that I heard of, of actually um, offers going to Lenares is, is both from Eddie Hearn and, and Samson. So is Linares misinformed or is he taking a page out of Teofimo Lomachenko book? What's going on? I definitely believe that Linares is misleading in the sense of that it's easy to, to just ask the, the promoter, you know, ask the promoter has an, has an offer came over as far as that goes. Um, I think I, well, I'm more than certain that he has made himself available and he's, he's, uh, he's fought on the, on the DAZN network. So it shouldn't be any problems in terms of that, um, you know, unlike a lot of other available to DAZN. Ryan Garcia is available from the outside looking in. Is it possible that Linares waiting a Ryan Garcia opportunity? Maybe he trying to go that direction because Ryan could potentially steal any uh, Devin Haney opponent. So can that be the case? Well, I mean, <clears throat> what we have to do is, is definitely – Give a shout out to Ryan Garcia over the weekend for the Canelo fight. He did a wonderful job cheerleading. Um, <laughs> you know, anytime you have a big event of that magnitude, and shout out to Eddie and Canelo, who both put on a, a spectacular event. It was a lot of fireworks. And uh, like I said, it was a, a lot of cheerleading going on. Uh, the number one cheerleader being in and uh, Queen uh, Lion uh, Garcia. You know, so you know, he is the mandatory for for the mandatory position, all the rest of these guys and 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 fights that are, are being suggested are just suggestions, and they're 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 Plan Bs to the actual Plan A. When Devin and I uh, made the trip to Dallas, Texas, to watch Luke Campbell and him fight, and then we were more than certain that the winner was supposed to have been fighting Devin uh, for the belt, and then when Ryan got on, um, I mean, excuse me, Lion got on the uh, the mic. He said uh, he started calling for Tank, a, a fighter that's not on the network. So once I knew that he heard that, I knew that it was going to be it was going to be some problems, you know, with making that fight, at least making that fight on the zone, on the zone platform. You know, so like I've said before, you know what I mean? I had the mask on and, uh, you know, and I told I told Devin to slap the shit out of him. And that probably would have jarred him enough to, to get the cojones, you know what I mean? And, uh, to uh, then pursue the fight. So he went on to later on say that uh, who has Devin fought and, you know, what interest does Devin bring to to fighting him and, you know, all this other rhetoric that the people know that, you know what I mean, it's, or, or it's not true. So we don't know what to make of Queen Lion Garcia right now. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Who do you guys want? Who do you guys want? What's one? We want Tay. We want Tank, I'm gonna say it in front of Mike and Jeremy. If you do not take this fight, your legacy is forever tainted. Nobody, I mean God nobody, oh will ever remember your name. <laughs> nobody. The money's there. I know you love money, God but money's there. Damn. If you don't take the fight next, your whole legacy forever is tainted if you don't take the next fight oh with me. Oh my God. God damn, Tank. I ain't never heard no shit like this. You five five, you don't need a ladder to hit me. You're gonna need a stairmaster. Boy, you won't be able to touch me. You ain't never fought a 135 in your life. Just different. Just I don't care what you say. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Boy, I don't care. You too ugly to be off the fucking chair. And that's what I'm gonna leave. Boy, I'm pretty. You ain't never seen nothing like me, I promise you. You go, you gonna go down. You see me with the bow tie, man. Two rounds is all I'm gonna take. Now, but you can talk to Mike. Have a good time with Mike. Yeah, that shit, man. Oh, don't worry. You can. Hey, yeah, uh, hit me with that shot. You're gonna need a stairmaster, boy. Yes. 
Hey, key word. Oh. Key word. Woulda. If I, if. Can your next fight be with this nigga, man? What the <laughs> nigga? We on worldwide television. Can you fight this nigga talking mad shit, man? <laughs> Let's go! Oh, Let's go! Hey, sign in a thousand. Hey, look at me. I'm dancing. I'm happy. Look, I, I, I'm dancing. Bachata on you. I'm dancing. Bachata. Hey! 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 H